Greetings to all and to all a good night. Welcome to now. I don't know if you're noticing anything right away. One, maybe you're noticing because you've never seen me. Maybe you've never seen a video before starring me. There's something in this vicinity that is different. I'll give you a second to figure it out. Did you figure it out? I got a new venture about me. One of the many things that I absolutely love about this truck, it not only opens like a traditional truck, right? But there's two cool things here. So we have this like hidden trunk within a trunk. And this can hold a lot of stuff I pick up at uh, garage sales and also dead bodies. And obviously a traditional trunk bed, which is awesome. But then get this, it also opens sideways. So that is gonna be so helpful because a lot of times if I'm putting a bunch of merch or anything or other dead bodies or soon to be dead bodies, if I put them towards uh, the front of the trunk bed, a lot of times you end up having to come over here to pick it up and if it's heavy, it's hard. This way you can get closer to them and just grab it here versus if this was down, for example, you can't reach up there. So that's a cool feature that's on this truck. And another thing that I love about this is this giant sunlight. And I know it's not a big deal to some and a lot of cars and vehicles come with sunlights, but I've never had one on my vehicle and I do a lot of road trips. And when I, when I am going across the US, sometimes I sleep in the truck. Sometimes it's just me and the pup and we can sleep in the truck. I was sleeping in a car and being able to see outside at night and see all the stars and the and the uh, alien invasion headed our way like i'm going to abuse that privilege of having this truck and being able to look out at night not to mention just driving in a vehicle that has bigger windows and an additional uh, window above my head it makes it feel so much roomier and and all the light that's coming in like i just absolutely love that i can enjoy nature more and it also obviously because it opens up I can let the nice breeze in uh, to the car but most importantly I went on an adventure last night what kind of adventure did you go on you may ask yourself except you'd be asking me and not yourself I tried a new restaurant last night red rice bowl uh, Asian cuisine and I got uh, I got um, coconut pineapple fried rice add extra broccoli if you know what I mean and it was so good that here's the thing so there's like my one or two go-to's when I want uh, Chinese food I decided to try this place try something new go on an adventure and um, I think that this new one is my new favorite and it was just a, another example of like a confirmation of, of this idea that I think about and talk about every so often. Not all, not just adventure, if you will, like adventure, trying something new, learning something new, going outside the, your, your normal routine, learning something new, that's what adventure is. Um, but it's this idea that at one time, if you think about the things that you love, if you think about your favorite of anything, you know, your favorite, uh, your favorite movie, your favorite meal, your favorite place you've ever been to, car, yoga pose, your favorite YouTube channel, your favorite uh, child, pair of pants, anything that you love, whatever it is, whatever your favorite is, whatever these things are that you love, at one time it didn't exist to you until you tried it. If you can just continuously apply that idea in your life, if you think about all the things that you love and think about the billions of things that you have never tried imagine the progress not only on a personal level but on a on a larger scale maybe a cumulative effort of progress around the world if we all just tried uh, new things just to find out how much we might love them and additionally when we do that 
in the grand scheme of things, the more things that we love, the more things that we discover, the more things that we can understand, whether we tend to like it, whether it ends up being our favorite, or if we don't like doing it at all, just the experience of trying something new, that, that adventure in and of itself very much leads to progress because it helps us appreciate not only the wide world of wonders around us, but even for the things that we end up not preferring for ourselves, now we can see or find some sort of common ground or understanding and it makes it easier for us to relate. We can see where people are coming from. That's a little bit of extra perspective just because we're constantly trying new things and learning about new things. So to celebrate this truck, we're going thrift shopping because that's what you should do to celebrate anything. And this truck's not gonna pay for itself. So let's go find some treasures. So I'm gonna show you a few things that I got in there. I ended up with four things. As a beginner, I, when I used to come here, I would spend almost two hours going through. They have a ginormous warehouse in there. A lot of people have a hard time believing you could sell used board games uh, for profit. And uh, depending on where you're looking and what game you're looking at, that can be true. That's why you only sell games that are profitable. Brand new, three bucks. Brand new, five bucks. So good news, I just lowered my cholesterol. This came out of this AT&T store behind me and um, I had found this phone, this new cell phone actually. This is a Samsung Galaxy S10e. It didn't have a box, but it was laying in a auction lot right at the bottom. Cell phones, it's hit or miss. Sometimes they're they're broken or they don't use or they're attached to an account and they can't be used on any another or on another account type of thing. I took it into AT&T to see if it would work. He said it's good to go and it sells for about 350 bucks. So that's definitely going to help pay for the new adventure mobile. So one of the hesitations I did have before buying another vehicle. Well, for a long time, I I knew I needed a truck for work and I had been putting it off for a very long time. I was driving a Prius. I was driving the Prius because that had outstanding gas mileage, like 45 to 50 miles a gallon. And it also aligned with my very uh, environmentally forward um, nature. Of so I knew that buying a truck was kind of hypocritical and going against that but I've been driving 35 40,000 miles a year on it going on uh, road trips north to south east to west and back again and it has become a little bit older and it's just getting that time it's like 250,000 miles or something on it so I knew I needed a new vehicle soon and that was just like on the the personal use of the vehicle but as my business is continuing to grow the reselling online it, it, the Prius became so impractical to use. I was finding that I would fill the car up multiple times in one day because it can only hold so much. It is roomy for like personal use, but for business, if I was at like, if I was picking up stuff from a warehouse or a liquidation place, I would have to fill the car, drive home, unload it, drive back to the warehouse, uh, load it, 
drive back to the car and load. Sometimes I'd have to do that three or four times a day. So it was massively inconvenient for my time. And uh, on other occasions, on really big jobs, I would, I would end up renting like a U-Haul. And that ended up being four or $500 a month. So just the impracticality of having the Prius for the business side of things, I knew that whatever I was going to get next, I just had to have something big, like a truck. It was going to save me a lot of time in that way. Plus, the, I would save a lot of money uh, not having to rent a U-Haul truck all the time. I did a bunch of YouTube research of finding people and what kind of trucks they have, why they like it. And I found out that the Honda Ridgeline actually rates number one in many categories for mid-sized trucks. Has the best gas mileage for all trucks. And that was very important to me. It's still nowhere near as good as the Prius. It's about half. But I'm also thinking about getting a small pull behind trailer um, to sleep in like a little RV. I absolutely love this truck. It hit on all the things that I really looked for and I knew it was time to, to get this truck in particular because it just matched up with so many things that I needed while also keeping in mind that uh, my actions do have an impact on the environment around me. So I just wanted to do the best I could. Imagine nobody ever went on an adventure. Nobody had any kind of curiosity. We would all still be living in caves. And in that way, adventure is a matter of life and death. See ya on the next adventure.